What's up? This is Tyler with Wallace Farm and Sawmill. We're back at it again. So check it out. We're gonna make a video today. Uh, just trying to think of something that'd be interesting other than our daily routine of doing the pallet wood. And so I had this idea it come up that uh, one of my good customers who has purchased a lot of wood from us in some of our videos a few months past, he bought a lot of the uh, that three quarter oak and random hardwood side that we were sawing uh he called me this morning and he was like so check it out i need eight six by sixes and i need um 25 uh two by fours 10 foot long he's like when can you have them done and so when you got a good client who is bought thousands of dollars of lumber from you and they call you and he asked me when can i have it done you own you a circle sawmill like that in the background you say today because uh those six by sixes will be quick and easy and uh two by fours will come off the side as i'm getting to them so i'm gonna go knock it out uh this is just a little insight into how the business runs so to speak and you got to take care of your good customers always so let's get it going um i'll show you what logs we're gonna get these out of I step off the tractor here so i've ended up getting there's some there and there and then i'm gonna slow down so i'm not shaking you to death here back over behind the mill there anyway there's uh like five loads i've got in of 20 footers lately and uh, i've got a bunch of um eight foot in yesterday but anyway these 20 footers right here the guy needs 10 foot material six by sixes these are not oversized not undersized just good sawing log size i think they're averaging the small are on 10 inches and they're averaging 12 to 14 so these would be some quick uh quick six by six post on the circle mill all right so well i mean you're seeing all of it here i'll go over a few things we got going the pile of cedar you see in the background over here that is for a custom cut for a client those are all his logs sawing those into uh one buys guy called me here these are all oak eight foot lengths i didn't really want them because they're eight foot i prefer 10 foot and up 10 12s 14s i don't really want 16s but i'll buy them 17 uh, foot and split them but anyway um i ended up with those so i don't know exactly what we're gonna make out of that yet i think it might go to pallet wood for all i know but uh it's just random red oak it looks like a lot of pin oak and few other random red oak species in there but today we're going to get this right here six by sixes you're going to see me split a few of these real quick and uh yeah i'll be using my chainsaw and i'm sure y'all can complain about how i'm cutting it but or the gear that i'm wearing <laughs> i get a chuckle out of that but anywho i'm gonna split these up now and then we'll get them over here put them on the uh log deck and we're going to get eight six by sixes so hang tight all right guys we're going to knock this out real quick i got to get these split up like i said so i'm going to get it most of the way down we got a lot of dirt and rock right here i got my cant hook i'll knock it over and get that back side up
something else. I know a lot of y'all seen these on YouTube. One of those holes for them are G660s. I don't know if you can tell or not, but this is an older one. I've had this for three years. I use it all the time. Every, I mean, I don't know how many loads of logs I've cut in the woods. I don't know how many logs I've split on the log yard. The only thing I've ever done to it is put a pull rope on it. I mean, it's got so many trees on it, it's ridiculous. Best $300 I've ever spent in my life as far as a chainsaw goes. It is a monster for the price. So like, I think six of the eight logs were really uh, dirty. So we're gonna, you can tell it's blowing the water out of the cracks in the bark right there. Just to avoid running through straight dirt. We run carbide bits and it doesn't affect them too bad, but I mean, dirt and rocks are terrible. We know that dulls, so. We don't wanna dull them prematurely because those carbide bits now are about $6 a piece last i bought i think five or six bucks a piece 26 to a blade so you do the math so we rinse them off just to keep them uh you know if it's just a little bit of dry dust on them we don't pay much attention but if it's if it's got if it's got mud caked in the bark with a few rocks and stuff yeah you got to stop and wash that out And it don't take long. I mean, yes, a pressure washer would be better, and I plan to get a pressure washer out here at some point. I've had two through the years, and I don't know. For right now, I'm just going to rinse them off real quick and get done with it. All right. We got them moved over to the deck. We got eight. Six by six logs. Well, we're going to make six by six out of these eight logs. I had to count them again to make sure I counted right. <laughs> Anywho, the deck's loaded. We got eight of them up there. So it is just me and the wife here. I don't have any extra hands here today, which this is normally who's here. But occasionally, when I'm filming, I'll have someone else out here to kind of help, uh, you know, it just takes one to film and two to run the mill. This is a two-person minimum sawmill operation. I mean, you, you kind of be hard to solo do it. Um, Freaking Jeep does it solo, and I'm amazed by how he keeps everything together. But um, great channel you guys should go follow. Anywho, I got the tripod set up. I'm going to get a couple shots shooting from this angle, showing us going out that way. And then I'm going to set it over on her side and let it get a couple shots coming through this direction. So let's get it fired up, and let's start making some six by sixes.
more time. And I'm going to change you around on this time. I know the sound's bad, it's loud. I'll put you over on this other side and shoot this this direction. So you can see how it looks.
Okay, guys, for the final point, got our six for six is cut. Now we got to get those 25 two befores out of that side cut lumber for him. And then we're going to move that through our edger here. And uh, yeah, we got a lot of mess to clean up, but we've been actively rolling and going. We'll run those through the edger real quick, and then we'll be done with his order. We'll take the excess and put into some pallet lumber like you see here and have seen before on the channel. So here we go. Four times it will be done. There she is. All right, so for today's video, we went through the whole process of getting an order and cutting them up into six by sixes and the 25 two by fours start to finish. You get to get to see the life of a uh, sawmill guy doing random orders. So whatever. <laughs> um. You can see here, I'll back the camera out. I got it reversed here from to see, but there's the 25 two by fours, six by sixes underneath there. Anywho, we got that order done. The off bear is uh, tired. Tired, <laughs> yeah, that's the word. And uh, I'm tired as well. So if you guys like this content and you want to see more of me and her, then like comment and subscribe and we will be back with more stuff in the very near future thanks for watching guys see ya